Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel. This week I have another Starbucks video for you. <laughs> About a month, month and a half ago, I did a video on the unicorn frappuccino, and since that has ended, they have come out with a new drink. Let's play a little charade so you can try to guess it. Oh, I got one! It's Pokemon Go. This is the Pokemon Go Frappuccino. Let me get my phone real quick to tell you what this consists of. My phone's over here. This drink is on the Starbucks secret menu. I guess if you're playing the Pokemon Go game and you click on the Starbucks location that serves the Pokemon Go Frappuccino, then that's one way you can order it. I just went up and said, are you still doing that? And they were like, uh-huh, I think so. And they gave it to me. I have a little bit of footage from the Starbucks store, so here's that. On StarbucksSecretMenu.net, which I don't believe is an actual website owned by the Starbucks franchise, but let's hope it's accurate. It says, here's the recipe. Vanilla bean frappuccino, add raspberry syrup, add freeze-dried whole blackberries, topped with whipped cream. Now, I am not a kind of, like, fruit juicy kind of guy. I'm more of, like, a... McDonald's every day. Not every day, every other day. <laughs> Let's keep it real. I did put this in the freezer and it's fogging. Do you guys see that? Oh my god. <laughs> can you tell that it's fogging? It's literally like smoking. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's definite like gas, nitrogen, whatever coming off of it. Now I'm gonna try this. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of blackberries. I don't think I am, um, but it seems to be more of a berry drink. I don't know if this is like based on a specific Pokemon character, but Let's taste it and find out. Disclaimer, I did get this at a store after I called a separate store and asked and they said, oh, I don't really think we're doing that anymore and they seem to kind of not, the employees there seem to not really have any knowledge on when it ended. So just call a couple stores to make sure, call a few. So here's the Frappuccino. Taste test, here we go. Whoa, that's freaking good. You guys, I was not expecting this. I definitely, taste the vanilla bean frappuccino. But judging by the color, it looks like there is quite a bit of that raspberry, whatever it was, what is it? The raspberry syrup? Huh. It tastes like, man, I can totally, totally taste the vanilla bean, the vanilla bean frappuccino, sorry, a seed of some sort got caught in my tooth. <laughs> wow, that is a hard seed. It's now in my carpet. I'm trying to figure out what it tastes like so I can like, convey that to my audience and let them know. It's definitely on the sweeter side. I know the unicorn frappuccino is more on the sour side. So this is definitely a better option if you're looking for a more of a sweet drink that's also limited edition, trendy, quirky, and relatable. It's really hard to put a finger on, but it definitely tastes like vanilla bean. That's really all I can say right now. But there's, it's not vanilla bean. You know what I'm saying? What's the added element? I could say it's like, I could say it tastes like raspberry, but I don't really taste raspberry often. So I don't really know how to judge that. Basically all I can say is that it tastes like an off taste of the vanilla bean frappuccino. It's a good off taste. It's not like a bad. Am I sipping too much? I kind of hate watching videos where people are like drinking stuff and eating stuff, but I have to make an exception when I make videos like these. You guys hear that? I don't want to like tell you guys a flavor and have it be, you know, inaccurate, so I will just say that it kind of tastes like vanilla bean, but there's something added to it that I can't really put a finger on. If you've tried the Pokemon Go Frappuccino and you'd like to leave a comment down below telling people what it tastes like, that would be great. Just let people know what's going on with this drink, because I clearly don't know. It's purple, it's cute, it's a lot less colorful and bright than the Unicorn Frappuccino, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It does have those seeds, if you can tell in the drink, pretty interesting. I did get a grande size, so if you're looking to get more, you get a venti. If you're looking to get less, you get a tall. Why do they call the shortest one the tall? If you'd like to see another Starbucks themed video, you can leave a comment on this video telling me that you'd like to see that. Or you could give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you like these kinds of videos. I post on this channel every Friday, so if you'd like to see another video, you can come back next Friday. Or you could look back on my past Friday videos, which I have over a hundred of. <laughs> it's a mouthful. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will see you next Friday. Bye! Bye.